Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and today I'm gonna to show you how to brighten and whiten teeth in Photoshop. You're gonna learn how to turn the teeth into a selection, remove any yellow coloring, as well as add some brightness to teeth. So here's our sample image. We're gonna start off by making the teeth into a selection. So we're gonna go up to select and then down to color range. Now here within color range, we're gonna use our eyedropper tool and you can see as I click around different areas of my image, it basically selects similar colors. So I wanna go ahead and click on our teeth. Now we wanna use the plus eyedropper tool that's right here and go ahead and add to that because we wanna make sure we select all of the teeth. So let's go ahead and select that right down there and perfect, that looks really good. Now you can use your fuzziness slider to include more or less teeth. And if you don't see a preview, make sure you're here in your selection preview that you have grayscale selected. There we go. So you wanna choose a fuzziness that includes the teeth. You don't wanna to go too far as to include the gums or the lips. So let's go somewhere right about there. That's looking pretty good. You can always adjust this later. So let's hit okay, and it's gonna go ahead and turn that into a selection. Now that we have our selection, we can load that into a hue saturation adjustment layer because we wanna take the saturation down. It's gonna reduce the yellow. So let's go ahead and grab our adjustment layers. We're gonna to go to hue slash saturation. There we go. And you're gonna see my selection automatically gets loaded into my layer mask. So all we have to do is take our saturation down and you're gonna see it's gonna remove or reduce the color in the teeth, but it's doing it for the rest of the photo as well as you can see. So what we need to do is fix up our layer mask a little bit. We're gonna hold alt or option and click on our layer mask. Okay, and then I just need to use my brush tool to paint black where I don't want this effect to be visible. And we're just gonna go right around the lips just with my brush tool to start with, just so we can get a nice clear selection. And then we're gonna finish it up with the lasso tool. So let's hit L for the lasso tool. There we go. We'll just go ahead and go right here around our teeth. Perfect. Now that we have a selection, we're gonna inverse this. So let's go up here to select and then down to inverse. There we go. And then we're going to go to edit, fill, and we'll just fill this with black. There we go. So basically just the teeth are selected at this point. So this effect is only gonna be visible on the teeth. Let's hold alt or option on the layer mask to temporarily enable our layer mask. And here we can see by double clicking on this, we can in fact reduce the saturation on the teeth, which just reduces some of the color. Now, if you need to adjust your layer mask, in this case, you can see it didn't include this little area here. No big deal. All you have to do is click on your layer mask, use your brush tool, and then just simply paint white right here on your layer mask on any area you'd like to affect. So anything that got missed, no big deal. You can just go in here and clean it up with your brush tool. All right, that looks fantastic. Okay, so you wanna zoom out and make sure that you look uh, to see that you know you don't wanna to go too far, you don't wanna bring it all the way down to zero, it's gonna look really bad. So we wanna just make sure we find something that looks nice and natural. Right about there looks pretty good. Now we wanna go ahead and brighten our teeth a little bit and we can use the exact same layer mask. So I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer here. We're gonna go up to a curves adjustment layer. There we go. Let's go ahead and take this and bring it up a little bit. And as you can see, it's visible everywhere on my image but all I have to do is copy the layer mask from my hue saturation adjustment layer to the curves. So let's hold alt or option. We're gonna simply click and drag the layer mask from one to another, which duplicates it. And now here we're brightening up our teeth. Okay, so if there's any areas that don't exactly work for you or anything that you did wrong, you can always go back and clean up and fix these layer masks at any time. You can see, I'm just gonna go in here and kind of clean these up a little bit. And that looks fantastic. So I can turn both of these layers on. We can see the before and the after. And of course you can go ahead and double click on either one of these layers and adjust them at any time. So I recommend keeping these changes relatively subtle. We don't wanna to go too far. It's not gonna look very realistic, but as you can see, it's a very quick and easy way to go ahead and brighten and whiten teeth in Photoshop. Thanks so much for watching, Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. We'll send you a free Photoshop tutorial every single week. All the best, much love, Flurn you later. Bye everyone.